How to replace the veins in a gas rotary vein compressor with parts from septicsolutions.com. Remove the internal and external filter assemblies from the muffler box. You may need to use a pair of pliers in order to break these loose. A trick is to turn the black filter holder clockwise a click and then back counterclockwise to get it loose. Using a 7 16 inch socket, break the five bolts loose on the muffler box. Then use a 7 16 inch nut driver to completely remove all five bolts. Using a 3 8 inch socket, break the 6 bolts loose on the end plate. Then use a 3 8 inch nut driver to completely remove all 5 bolts. Remove the worn veins and any broken vein pieces from the rotor. An air compressor or small flathead screwdriver can be used to remove fine pieces of broken veins that may be lodged in the slots. Make sure that there is no damage to the rotor and that it spins freely. Also, inspect the end plate to be sure there is no scoring or damage. Severe scoring will cause the compressor to not operate properly. Insert the new carbon vein so that the beveled edge follows the curvature of the rotor. You should notice that the beveled edge rides smoothly around the body when turning the rotor in a counterclockwise direction. Reinstall the end plate and tighten the 6 3 8 inch bolts. Torque the 6 3 8 inch bolts to 90 to 120 inch pounds. Replace the gasket that sits between the end plate and the muffler box. Reinstall the box and tighten the 5 7 16 inch bolts. Torque the 5 7 16 inch bolts to 90 to 120 inch pound. The final step is to reinstall the internal and external filter assemblies. Simple and easy. Visit www.septicsolutions.com to order your parts today.